Hi scholars, welcome to science with Miss Ramirez, that's me. All right, what you'll need today is your journal, your pencil, and or a piece of paper if you don't have your journal, because we're going to be writing sentences at the end of this and something really fun. All right, today's objective is that you can explain what shadows are and how they work. But wait, what are shadows? Good question. Let's review our vocabulary. A shadow is the dark shape that is made when something blocks light. So you need to have a source of light in order to have shadows. So for example, when you have a flashlight and you put your hand in front of the flashlight, you can create shadows. We've also talked about the shadow that we get from the sun. So we've talked about how the sun is our biggest source of light and it gives us light to half of the earth. So this half of the earth has daytime. It has, good, it has daytime because it has the light from the sun. But this other side that looks a little darker is in the shadow, is in the shadow. Good job. <clears throat> and since it's in the shadow, it is nighttime. It is good. And we can also see that the moon also has some shadows. When it's right in front of the sun, it is it has a shadow all around it so we can't see it very well and as it moves the shadow begins to make it smaller and smaller and smaller until we can see the full moon and then it happens all over again when the shadow um, takes over the moon so we've learned a lot about shadow so far so I want to show you a video of another explanation of what shadows are that I think you're really going to like I learned something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all about <laughs> shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Scientist in the house. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, hey, Ziki. Huh? Look at your big brother. He wants to show you something special. See that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zeke. Now, to make a shadow, I need a light source. Uh -huh. And there it is up in the sky. It's the sun. Sun. Uh. And I need something to block part of the light source. So, I have Josie Those. and my new puppet, Edison the Elephant, <laughs> and me, your big brother, Sid. See that? <laughs> and look, we're making shadows. Oh, See? Yucky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and now it's time for your very own Animal Shadow Show! Oh, An Animal hey. Shadow Show? Hey, I love shadow shows! <laughs> oh, Mort, I forgot how much you like shadow shows! I sure do! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad, come over here, I have an idea! Okay! Okay. Mm. Yeah. You can be Josie in my show. Oh, really? Yeah. I get to be in the show? Yeah. All right. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and now for the show. Once upon a time, Edison the elephant was walking down the street. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm walking down the street. Do -do -do -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, Josie the doggy arrived. Hey. <laughs> Hello there, Edison. Oh, hello there, Josie. Have you seen a dog fly? Oh, I know I haven't, Josie. Well, watch this. Woo! Oh. I'm a flying dog. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, doggy. Doggy. <laughs> well, Edison the elephant wanted to fly too. So he jumped up as high as he could and he started to fly. Oh. Yay, I'm flying. Oh. Woo Me too. Oh, Zeke, I agree with you. This is the best animal shadow show I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I had the most amazing day at the Science Center. Now I know that shadows don't show smiles or stripes or colors, but they do show shapes. <laughs> hmm. You know, I like my shadow shape, but it sure would be fun to try out a new shadow shape. Hey, that gives me an idea. Okay, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper big idea. I'm going to create a place called the Shadow Switch. It's like a store, but instead of buying stuff, you switch your shadow with someone else. 
Maybe you've always wanted to have the shadow shape of a hippo? Well, now you can! And now that hippo can borrow your shadow. Oh, nice shadow. Blah, blah. You can switch your shadows with lots of animals and walk around town with the shadow of a monkey or a lion or an octopus. Wow, an octopus shadow would be a great shadow shape. With the shadow switch, every person and every animal can try out any shadow they want. It'll be a world of crazy shadow shapes. Yay! And that's my super duper uber schmooper big idea. Woo! Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, hey, even Dr. Beaks makes a shadow. Watch out! <laughs> Look at that, Dr. Beaks, your shadow's dancing. <laughs> I am Sid, the shadow-making science kid. And remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions and keep making lots and lots of shadows. See you later, scientists. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Our shadows are dancing together. How nice. <laughs> All right. Great job, scholars. Now, what I want you to do is take out your journal and pencil and I want you to write a sentence, and I want you to tell me what you learned about shadows. What is your favorite part of what you've learned about shadows so far? Remember, when you write a sentence, you need a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence, and you need a period at the end of your sentence. And make sure that you go back to and reread your sentence to make sure that you didn't miss any words or ideas in your sentence. Great. Then, once you're done with your sentence, I want you to try and make your own shadows. You can use maybe a flashlight to make shadows at night, or try going outside and seeing your shadow from the biggest source of light that we have, the sun. So make, try to make some shadows outside, and then show your teacher on Class Dojo. Share your sentence, and if you make some shadows. All right, All right scholars, you did a great job today. Kiss your brains. I'll see you next week.